Hey, what's up, YouTube? Jim here at Team Aquatics, and I wanted to uh, update everybody on the Aqua Decor background, which actually just came in the other day, and uh, very happy with it. My daughter and I um, opened it. I was going to do a regular speed unboxing, but to be honest with you, uh, it would have taken forever. The as you can see in the picture in picture here, my daughter and I uh, pulled out all of the, the pieces that came with it, moved the box over. Each piece was individually wrapped with a cellophane wrap that protected each one. And my daughter was good enough to give me a hand with it. Um, so I did kind of a time lapse, slowed it down a little bit, but uh, did a time lapse to kind of show you um, how time consuming it is to actually unwrap the background. So with that being said, um, that background is going to go into my new 150 gallon tank that uh, is right now on sawhorses in my office. Uh, the background is, is installed in that. Uh, not completely installed. Uh, the instructions say that you have to actually wait but I'll get to that in a little bit more detail as this video goes on. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the Aqua Decor background and um, kind of show you my Central American tank and uh, how messy and awful it is and you know, kind of show you the before and then hopefully the afters which will be coming up in videos to come. Okay, you want to show everybody in YouTube our background? Yeah. And it looks amazing. We put it in the tank to see the numbers, but look at all over here. This is where it goes. So I'm not to knock it down, but here is like the yarn edging. Yep. And so I'll I'll just say this about the background. It looks unbelievable. But one of the things that uh, it takes up a huge footprint in the tank. Not gonna lie, it takes up a lot of the tank, so Well, just to see about this. Yes. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you for your help. So, um, basically what I was saying is it takes up a huge footprint in the aquarium. Not crazy, but, but enough. Um, it's going to displace some water volume, which means I'm going to have to cut back on my stock list for this tank, which is fine. I was going to do that anyway, but um, we're going to definitely have to do that. So, I will be back once this thing is basically installed into the 150. So, thanks Fiona. Thank All right, I'm back later in the evening and uh, daughter's in bed. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of a, a quick view of what it looked like installed in the tank. It isn't siliconed in uh, because the instructions say do not permanently install this in the aquarium until um, the background has about four or five days of exposure to air. Uh, it, as you saw in the uh, in the time lapse video earlier, um, it it was wrapped up really well, and it really had kind of a moist feeling to it. Nothing really transferred onto my hands or anything like that, but it had kind of a moist feel. So when I read the um, the instructions, it actually said that that the paint that they use on the surface of this styrofoam background could still be wet. So they wanted to, they tell you to let it sit for a good four to five days so it completely dries within the cracks. Um, I'm really impressed. This, this thing is an amazing piece. Um, and I have to say that I am overjoyed with the appearance the only the only issue that I have and I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest is it really takes up a tremendous amount of room this 150 gallon aquarium I would say that the space that this is gonna occupy is at least a third of the water volume so you're looking at probably between 40 to 50 gallons of water displacement um, just on the background alone. I could be wrong, um, but that's what I'm thinking. 
I will try to do a better video of uh, from the top down um, so that you can kind of get a good look. The, the aquarium right now where I'm prepping it is really, it's just on sawhorses in my uh, office. And so it's tough to get a really good look at, um, you know, from the top down because I have to get up on a ladder or a little step ladder to look down on it to really truly see it. But you can, you can see that this really does come out quite a bit in the, uh, in the aquarium. Let me see if we can get the edge here. I mean, it's gorgeous. It looks, it, I mean, this looks so real. Uh, I'm absolutely blown away. And these overhangs and these cracks in the rocks, I can just imagine, you know, the little plecos hanging out in there. Um, I mean, this overhang here, just this one alone, it's got to be between six and eight inches from the back. It's crazy. It, it looks, it, it really looks unbelievable. Sorry for the glare. It's the light that's in the tank, but it's just really, truly unbelievable. It really is. So it's going to cut back on my stock list. Unfortunately, it, it really is. Um, probably for the better. I, I, I've actually contemplated, and I don't know what you think, post below. I've got 20 Frontosa downstairs and a 265 that are eventually going to have to be um, thinned out a little bit. I was thinking, just thinking, of moving maybe half of those up into this tank. That would mean rehoming all of my centrals and my pike cichlid that are in the uh, 135 behind me. I've done it before. Um, I don't know. I just had that thought. This tank could easily be uh, a Central American tank. Just put some uh, plants in there and some driftwood and it will look beautiful with the Sinspelum and uh, the other fish. But post in the comments. Let me know what you think. Am I crazy? A front tank in my, in my basement room and a front tank up here in my office. I love the fronts, but you got to tell me what, what I should be doing with this tank. I'm limited on the number of fish that I can put in here. It's just beautiful though. I, I don't really care. It's just absolutely beautiful. But I'll be posting an update soon. This will be on YouTube. Uh, doubtful. This will be on YouTube before there's water in it. It'll probably be on YouTube after this video. Uh, I was thinking maybe I'd be able to put water in it, but it's going to take probably another couple of weeks before I can get this thing um, installed in my wall. So. Let me know what you think. Uh, love you guys, and I will uh, be back soon with some more updates.